Lisa here. Thanks for joining me today. I recently purchased a baby crib through um, the net, on the internet, and I had it delivered. And normally, you know, I'm kind of iffy on making these types of videos, but sometimes product reviews are very helpful because I'm one of the first that will go to YouTube to look for product reviews. I want to see the good, I want to see the bad, and I want to see things that I may consider looking out for or if a product is even right for me. And in this particular instance, I purchased, it's called a Dream On Me 5-in-1 or a Dream On Me Ashton convertible crib. It is a 5-in-1. It breaks down to become a toddler bed, um, a twin bed with a few adjustments and things of that nature. But I did run into some issues that I think other people need to be aware of. And I actually did look at some videos on YouTube, and they had great reviews. So I'm going to tell you what I saw in the difference. A couple of the videos I saw, people actually purchased the crib from a store. So the shipping was done completely different than if you purchased just one crib. And I did purchase, it was called the, the bundle, and it was the crib with a mattress, and both of them were manufactured by Dream On Me. So, uh, originally, the first bed and the first mattress we got came a little bit early, and I was waiting um, to finish painting and all that before I put the, mat the bed together. So, what happened was, as soon as I was ready to put the bed together, I opened the, the box, the shipping box that it came in, and in the middle where the pieces of wood were stacked, one of the middle pieces uh, had a bad piece of wood in it. So I had to call um, the company I purchased it from, and they sent out another bed. Both times the boxes of these were mutilated. They were horribly dented. and So the first bed that actually had bad wood in it, it also had bad wood from where the box had gotten beat up during shipping. Okay, so the second bed came, same thing. A middle piece of the wood had a, a bad piece of wood on it. It actually had two places on the bed. And the box itself was very beat up. Now, we looked at the bed and looked at the pieces, and we had to decide if the quality of the damage, because I didn't feel I was going to get another bed that was any better. So did I want to just return it all and get a complete refund, or did I want to try for a third bed? Some of the things on this particular bed, the damage was on the back side of the, the wood. And it's pretty much cosmetic. Yeah, it, it's not a thing that you want, but it is what it is. Also, one of the things that I noticed once we put the bed together is the, there's warranty stickers. And they're about four inches long by about an inch high, or four wide by an inch high. And they put them on the outside of the beds. Typically, when you see a baby bed, not often do you see this recess into the wall where the bed is. So you kind of see it out in the open, and nobody wants to see that eyesore of a sticker on the outside of your baby bed, especially, or any furniture, but especially when it's dark wood. Both sides have the same thing. Um, I think, it, you know, for the company, it could have been much easier just to handle this in the first place, put the stickers on the inside of the bed, and they wouldn't show. So, I'll give you a, a visual of that. Okay, so after we got the second bed put together, I opened the first mattress. The, it did not come in a box. It came wrapped in plastic. So, you can imagine the final product we got. When I went to take the plastic off, there were two holes in the mattress, plus there was plastic coming out of the seams of the mattress. Um, it was also a dream on me. However, I don't believe they're the ones that manufacture it. I believe they're just the ones that sell it, um, from what I understood from their rep. So I did call the company, and I was like, okay, guys, you know, this is what happened. I sent pictures. So they agreed to send another mattress. Now, because of um, safety regulations and health regulations, they're not allowed to take the old mattress or the, the first one I purchased back. So they told us just to discard it, and they sent us another one. However, the second mattress we got had the same thing. Sometimes you can tell if it's done in shipping, and sometimes you can kind of tell if the chances are better that it was done in the factory before it was wrapped. 
I'll show you some pictures of the first mattress, and I believe one spot was done before it was wrapped because the plastic, the shipping plastic covering the mattress was not damaged where one hole was. However, where the second hole was, there was the almost the exact same um, cut in the shipping plastic itself. So I think that was done during shipping. Same thing with the second mattress. We got, it's got a hole in it that's about an inch and a half long. And on the outside of the shipping plastic, it is the same way. So once again, I think it happened during shipping. At some point, I'm not saying if FedEx did it or their shipping department, I don't know. But, you know, what do you do? So I'm not about to call them and have a third mattress sent out here just like a third bed. So, you know, if probably if you can buy it from a store and it is in the store, you're going to have better odds because then you can return it to the store and get another one. This was a little bit different when you have to box things up and send them back. So, okay, guys, my opinion on the bed. If you're going to purchase it in a store and you're going to have that option of returning it to the store in case it is damaged, I personally would give the bed and the mattress a 10. I love the features of it. I love the fact that this is stable and that this side of the bed doesn't raise up and down. Yes, it is closer to the floor. Um, so there's less chances of a baby standing up, climbing over the side that typically they will start doing once they be getting to the climbing stage. Um, they just like to get out of bed. Something about that. My daughter did it, and I don't anticipate my granddaughter being any different. But I do like that factor. And with this, you're going to start with the mattress on the higher level of the four screw holes. And you're just going to um, adjust the mattress according to the size of the baby. Once they start sitting up, you lower the mattress to the very next hole, the screw hole down. So each time you keep going down. However, the only feature with this is you can't lower this bar down and pick the baby up. So it's something that you'll need to constantly bend over to do. To me, I would rather choose the safety and have the stable side um, rather than worrying about the bed being higher and the baby climbing out. That to me was a great feature. So, and the mattress itself, it came with 80 coils and it has a lot more cushion. We did upgrade on the mattress, even though we're not gonna be able to use it. Um, it's just a lot softer mattress and it's got a lot better cushion so you don't feel those springs when you press it with your hands. You get a really nice, nice thick of cushion in between the top of the mattress and the springs and I love that feature. And so I will probably try to find that exact same mattress in a store where I can actually look at it before I purchase it. So, but buying in the store I give it a 10. Shipping it from the net purchasing there, I will give it a two. It's just the way it is. I wish I could say different because I do love the bed. So I hope this video helps, guys. And like I've always said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You never know what you may learn on my channel. And until next time, guys, be blessed. Hi, guys. Lisa here. Thanks for joining me today. I recently purchased a baby crib through... Um, the net on the internet and I had it delivered and normally you know I'm kind of iffy on making these types of videos but and sometimes product reviews are very helpful because I'm one of the first that will go to YouTube to look for product reviews I want to see the good I want to see the bad and I want to see things that I may consider looking out for or if a product is even right for me and in this particular instance I purchased it's called a Dream On Me 5-in-1 or a Dream On Me Ashton convertible crib. It is a 5-in-1. It breaks down to become a toddler bed, um, a twin bed with a few adjustments.